The side slide is a great example of a perfectly controlled stall. Many people don't bother practicing it because they're eager to move on to axles and more glamorous moves, but truly mastering the side slide will give you the sensitivity you need to learn everything else much more quickly. To do a side slide, use a downward turn at the edge to generate sideways momentum and slide the kite sideways in a stall, holding it perfectly horizontal at a constant altitude. Slide the kite all the way across the window without a bobble. Fly to the edge of the window and make a sharp downwards turn. Release the turn a little early so the kite stops at level and starts to slide in towards the middle of the wind window. As it slides, control the tension on the lines and the angle of the kite so it moves sideways at a constant altitude and without a wobble. Use fingertips on the line to feel subtle changes in tension. Move forwards and back with your feet to control altitude and be ready to move forwards if the kite starts to fly away. Do the slide just a few feet at a time at first, only as far as you can keep the wings level. Anticipate the release of the downwards turn so the kite comes out horizontal. Once you've mastered this, try changing direction while maintaining the stall. First float right, then stop, and float left. With practice and a little stamina, you can even hold a horizontal slide around a full 360 in the lightest winds. On a flat calm day, start a side slide with a downwards turn and start running backwards to keep your altitude as you slide. When you get to the edge of the window, just keep running backwards while you guide the slide in the same direction in a full 360 around yourself. Start on super short lines, 20 feet is easiest. On a day when there's truly no wind, think about taking long, smooth steps as you move backwards. If you need to go backwards faster, try to take longer steps, not faster ones.